Hello, Yan. Dr. Valerie Nelson here. I want to do. I want to tell you about a simple test that you can do at home if you have a yeast or can. If you're wondering if you have a yeast or candida or fungus issue. Um, first of all, there is a free test that you can go to if you sign up on our website. There's just a simple form that you can fill out and we will send you a free comprehensive questionnaire for, uh, to see whether your, some of your health conditions are caused by yeast, candida, or fungus. One thing I'll notice is when people come into our wellness clinic, one thing that's hugely missed in the mainstream medical testing realm of things is the underlying root cause of candida and yeast and fungus being um, in a lot of health conditions. And a lot of the testing that's out there really just isn't very effective. I've had people that come in and what they'll do is they'll say, you know, um, I just don't know what's wrong with me. And we'll go, we'll sit down and we'll talk for a while. And when we talk, um, I'll find out that a lot of their symptoms seem to be rooted in this imbalance of intestinal gut bacteria, which just simply means too much bad bacteria. A lot of it has to do with your gut and not enough good bacteria. So it's, it's a matter of reversing those things. People will say, oh, wow, well, I already had a candida test done. I already had a yeast can test done, and that yeast test came back negative. I'm like, well, your body is not telling me that's what's going on. Your body is telling me that you definitely have a yeast issue going on. So a couple things you can do at home is, um, for one, is you can do a spit test. You can do spit in water. Um, when you first wake up in the morning, you can spit in a glass of water. And if your spit kind of sticks together, That'll tell you that there's a buildup of candida or yeast inside your, um, your mouth uh, saliva. So another test that you can do is we will tell uh, people, this is a urine sample that somebody brought into our wellness center um, because they wanted to do our urine, um, our urine analysis therapy, homeopathy therapy. So, um, so what we'll do is we'll have somebody urinate in a cup and then we'll just let that sit for a couple days at room temperature. And guess what? Yeast will start to grow if it's a bad yeast condition. So, and yeast will look flaky in, um, I don't know if you're able to see the sample. I'll try to bring it a little closer to the camera here. Um, but yeast will look like sediment at the bottom of um, the urine after a couple days. Sometimes it'll start to manifest after two days. Sometimes it might be closer to a week. But anyways, if you can't see it on the camera, it'll look like floaties going through, um, um, especially when you look from the bottom up. You can really see it from the bottom up. It'll look like white little flakes inside the urine sample. Um, but if you do the symptomology testing, and you, and you do the urine testing, but the symptomology testing comes up that you have a moderate to severe yeast condition and it doesn't show up in the urine, that does not mean that it has not traveled system, uh, systemically through the system. So, um, so it doesn't have to show up in a urine sample like this to still be an issue in your system is what I'm trying to say. But this is one way that you can test to see whether or not that is, um, you know, the, the, it's when seeing is believing, basically, when you see it in the water. Uh, we also do ionic foot bath treatments in our office, and, and very often we can see the yeast right in the foot bath because um, it'll sit on top of the water. Sometimes it'll be cloudy, sometimes it'll be flaky. Um, but I wanted to give you that tip on um, how you can do this simple test at home. Again, you're going to take one or two ounces of urine. Oh, first thing in the morning. That's important. First thing in the morning, you want to urinate a little bit. Stop halfway through your void, and that's when you want to get the collection because your body tends to detoxify at night. And then you want to take it, sit it in room temperature, not in the refrigerator. Sit it room temperature and just see if those little yeasty, your, those little yeasty bacteria start to grow. Um, if nothing shows up, after two or three days, 
you want to wait and let it sit for a week. If nothing shows up then, then I want you to take a little bit of sugar and sprinkle it inside your sample and then sit it back and let it sit for a few more days because guess what? Yeast loves sugar. So, um, another sign is if you crave sugar, you crave carbs, if you feel like, oh, why can all my friends give up sugar and all my friends give up carbs, but I just like can't seem to give up carbs, it's because if there's an overgrowth of candied and yeast in your system, then your body and your brain just like craves those carbs because guess what? That's their food supply and they'll be in your system. They'll be a feed me, feed me, feed me. And um, you, you just kind of feel like crazy if you don't have those foods. And that's because there's a real thing going on, okay? So how do we address this? First of all, um, we do have um, a pack that we sell called the digestion pack. And if you order the digestion pack, you're going to get good instructions on there about how to use the pack and why there's all, there, there's three products in the pack. I'll go through what's in the pack. But it'll also give you some dietary guidelines. But I want to tell you something, anything that you do, whether you do the digestion pack, whether you do the digestion pack and the diet, anything that you do is going, going to start pointing you in the right direction. Some people cannot do the digestion pack and the diet. Some people can do the digestion pack um, alone and they will still start making progress. Some people can do the digestion pack and they're like, what are these people that are gung-ho? That's like, let's just do it all, no matter what. Um, no pain, no gain. And they want to do the digestion pack, they want to do the diet, and, um, and then they'll go, you know, they'll have the results quicker. There's some people that just want to do the digestion pack and they want to do aspects of the diet. And I just want to encourage people to be in a better place than they were before they met me, before they came in contact, and not to beat them up to say, oh, if you don't do A, B, C, D right, then, then you might as well just forget the whole deal. Um, so I'll show you what the uh, digestion pack looks like. Okay, so it'll come in a package like this, and it'll have instructions. Um, in here is something called Candida fungus spiders. Um, to solve this yeast problem is a three-step plan. So first is going to be the candida fungus fighters. And what you will do is you'll start out with one a day and you'll increase it by one every day to bowel tolerance. And what that means is you don't want to be pooping your guts up. So um, you, it's very, very natural for you to be moving your bowels more often, but we don't want you to be like a water fountain out the, you know, the hiney. So uh, some people can take six, go straight up to six, and six is the, the maximum amount and, um, that you should take, and then you just stay on that. Depends on how long you've had the yeast. If you, once you take our, our free yeast questionnaire on our website, again, the website is doctor spelled out ValerieNelson.com. Um, you can click on the link and sign up for the free candida yeast test and we will send that to you. It depends on how long you've had these symptoms. If you've only gotten these symptoms recently, then you're not going to have to do the yeast program that long. But I'm going to be honest with you, if you've had yeast symptoms for 10 years, you may end up having to be on this program for 10 months. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not going to sugar, I'm not going to shortcut it. I'm not going to, you know, just tell you, yeah, you can treat it in six days or six weeks. If it's, you want to do it for one month for every year that you've had the symptoms and then go to some sort of a maintenance program. If not, you're just going to keep going back. You're going to end up back where you were before you um, even started any kind of a program. So the candida fungus spiders, that helps to wipe out all stages, candida yeast fungus parasites. Secondly... The intestinal enhancer. This is part of the program because what the intestinal enhancer does, it helps to quickly digest the foods that the yeast and candida love to feast on. Because a lot of people with candida, yeast, fungus issues can end up having thyroid issues or a multiple of other different kind of medical conditions, but it all goes back to the candida, yeast, and fungus. So what we want to do is we want to make sure your food is digesting quickly so the candida and fungus 
um, does not have a food supply that's fermented in the gut to survive off of. Another thing this will do is this will tear apart and break down the cell walls of the wrong kind of bacteria. So this has a twofold functioning. Lastly but not least, you want to make sure you're doing the professional probiotics. Do yourself a favor, don't go to the Walmart or Rite Aid and get yourself some cheap um, probiotics. You want to make sure you go with the professional probiotics. I actually had this designed um, and it's got uh, 65 billion CFUs per two capsules, which is really high. I've actually muscle tested this up against some that say they have 50 billion or 100 uh, billion and they don't test as well as these ones. And I think it's because of um, the temperature conditions that we keep them in. We make sure we keep them in a very, very stable temperature environment so that they, when they get to you, they haven't been sitting uh, for a long time in a hot warehouse or something. So um, ordering from um, doctor.spelledoutvalproducts.com, you know it's not been sitting for a long time in a hot warehouse, okay? So again, you want to kill off the bad bacteria. You want to digest the food quickly and take an, uh, the intestinal enhancer to break down the cellular walls of the fungus, and you want to put the good bacteria back in. Um, if you've not been able to be muscle tested for how much of this um, probiotic that you want to take, again, it depends on the severity of your yeast and fungus. An average dosing can be anywhere from two to four a day. And these have a hundred capsules in there, so they'll last you a good while. And a lot of our products on the Dr. Val Products website, if you buy three of these at one time, you get $10 off. So it's um, so you get to save by like stocking up on um, three packs of the supplement. So again, our motto is do natural as much as possible so that you're not on toxic medications. There are toxic medications that are life-saving um, medications. We're not discounting that there's sometimes you need to go to a hospital and to a medical doctor, but there's so many things that can be resolved by treating things naturally, and natural things are so much more likable by the body, and they don't destruct the body over time. So um, natural and attacking things as soon as possible. Um, have a blessed day and um, please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video if it's been helpful for you. God bless you.